एवरीवन सो टुडे इज फ्राइडे एट्थ मार्च एंड दिस इज माय टू डू लिस्ट फॉर टुडे सो राइट नाउ आई प्लेस अ टाइमर ऑफ टू आवर्स सो दिस टाइमर विल एंड दैट टेन एटीन ए एम सो राइट नाउ आई स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द रिविजन ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई रिवाइज द फॉर्मूलाज एंड देन आई विल डू द चैप्टर ई बेट एंड देन विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विद एन सी आर टी एक्सरसाइजेस इट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so firstly i decided to revise the formulas of all the chapters which i was supposed to read today and also i read the theory of real numbers and polynomials because sometimes they ask mcqs from the theory as well like from polynomials i have seen multiple mcqs from the graphical method and uh, there were times when i could not answer them correctly so that's why i just decided to pay more attention to these particular topics because i make a lot of mistakes here so now let's talk about my strategy for maths so i don't have a fixed strategy basically today i did the ncrt questions of six chapters and also i'm going to do the pyqs of these six chapters only along with the formulas and theory revision now i'm obviously not going to solve all the questions of the ncrt because that's going to take up a lot of my time so i'll mostly focus on one or two questions from each concept and after that i'll just move to the pyqs so for the uh, pyqs i can either just solve it from the pyq book that i have or if i want to do it chapter wise then i will watch the lectures of either ritik sir or mansi ma'am now i'm not going to watch the premiere or live sessions of any of them because I just want to watch the recorded version in 2x speed. So once the live session gets over, then only I will start solving PYQs from that particular session. And usually after coming back from the center and taking a good rest, I do the easy topics. But yesterday I did not do anything, so that's why I'm going to do the MCQs today. Currently 10:36 a.m. Now I'll place a timer of one hour thirty minutes. So this timer will end at. Twelve zero six p.m. So yeah, let's start studying again. So now, if I talk about the SST exam, then it went super well, like really, really well. And there was this one MCQ which was confusing. Otherwise, the full paper was kind of straightforward. The MCQ was related to the scheduled language of India. Uh, there were four options, which were Garhwali. Bhojpuri, Nepali, and Rajasthani. So we were choose. So we were asked to choose one. official language now it was a very tricky mcq for me but then once the exam got over the invigilator sir who he was also a teacher of sst he then says the correct answer so my answer was correct so i was extremely confused between two options but then i just decided to go with one of them and thankfully the guesswork was correct and my answer was just right and the options were also actually kind of tricky so i'm actually kind of happy that the boards are going to be over very soon like we just have two more exams to go but at the same time i am also kind of sad because i will not be able to visit school every day because in 11th everything's just going to be 10 times tougher we'll also have to prepare for competitives and all so we'll have to give most of our time towards that particular section so school life is not going to be the same anymore and i'm going to miss my friends a lot because 10th was one of the most memorable years of my school life like 5th 6th 9th and 10th i'm really going to miss all these years but it is what it is and most of our teachers were literally the best in 10th grade like they taught us everything so smoothly so like the concept was just crystal clear and i'm definitely going to miss them a lot in 11 and i also had a lot of virtual friends on youtube who shared their experiences in the comment section i'm also really grateful to have every single one of you i hope we stay connected in the 11th grade as well no matter which stream we go for we will definitely stay connected here by the way i'll be taking pcm with computer science and physical education so which stream will you be taking and what competitive exam are you going to prepare for take then i'll come back and then i will start doing the chapter quadratic equations when my second study session got over i had my lunch and simultaneously i was watching this one episode of pokemon so once that episode got over i started studying again it's currently 12:43 right now i'll place a timer of 1 hour So this timer will end at 3:00 p.m. So yeah, let's start off with our 
mathematics study session of quadratic equations so in the maths exam my weakest points are the mcqs and the time management skill like even in the beginning of the video i told you about the graphical questions they were in the mcqs only and i got them wrong and even when i was solving other questions of the sample paper there were times when i was like not even reading the question properly i just found that answer correct i just wrote that answer and then i used to find out that my answer was wrong and also if i talk about my time management skill then it's literally the worst so i'll try my best to solve at least 2 to 3 sample question papers before the actual exam and also i will watch different lectures on mcqs because i have seen that there is one lecture of rithik sir in which he has like solved 50 plus mcqs so i'll definitely watch that lecture other than that in other videos also mcqs are included so i just hope that i don't lose my marks because of any mcq or silly mistake because that is literally the most disheartening thing that could ever happen to me and also for this particular chapter i had watched the lecture of rithik sir and in that lecture especially the questions regarding the speed distance time everything was properly explained in that lecture it is i think in the youtube channel of uran and that just made my concepts crystal clear and even for ap i watched his lectures they are literally the best if i talk about rs agarwal then there were two three questions which were actually very very brilliant so i'll try to attempt those questions once again before the exams and if i talk about the rest of the questions then i'm not sure if i'm going to attempt all of them or not because my main focus is going to be on the pyqs so the second part of this video which is going to be the evening study session is going to be uploaded tomorrow in which i'll be solving the pyqs heights and distance circles and everything so make sure that you watch that video too it'll be uploaded tomorrow currently 1:43 pm and since i have to post this video today itself i'm going to edit it right now so that was it for today's video i'll do the rest of the task in tasks in tomorrow's video so yeah that was it for today's video i'll see you in my next video tomorrow bye